What's going on guys? Time for some more Ultimate Team. I played a game in the last episode and I'm ready to play another one. But first I'm going to buy a gold premium pack, see what I get. I haven't had a lot of luck in my return to Ultimate Team and buying packs as of late. But I'll get Tremont Williams, Matt McBriar, Terrence Knighton, Wade Smith, Jonathan Scott, Adrian Claiborne, and Ahmad Brooks. Some decent players I can use because I don't want to have all 99s. I want to have a high 80s, low 90s team. I'm still going through and figuring out the optimal roster for me. Here is what I'll be using for this episode. Not a whole lot of changes, but I do really like Terrence Knighton because he can block shed and he is only an 87 overall. And my opponent for this game has a 96 overall team. I like a challenge. I think it makes me a better player being able to play with lower rated players and develop new strategies and it'll make me better going forward. Looking at his roster, a lot of really great players and it's going to be tough, but I like a challenge on this game and, and putting myself in these type of situations is how I have fun on Madden. And so into the action we go. His quarterback is Aaron Rodgers and we have the Minnesota Vikings jerseys on offense. Second and five quick pass to Arian Foster on the backfield and he is quickly bottled up, and so that one's not going to work. Third and four for Freeman. The slant to Marcus Colston. you got to use your players in their best situations. Burris and Colston, those slant routes are dangerous. And now with Arian Foster speaking of danger, he is loose in this defense. Revis misses him. Erlacher giving chase, but you might as well go back to the bench because Arian Foster just scored a touchdown. And I'm up 7-0. So he's on offense. Now Rodgers back to pass. First play from scrimmage under pressure. He looks long and it's intercepted. It's picked off by Patrick Chung. Redemption from the last episode. I did not cut him because I didn't get another safety I could replace him with. And so maybe he's got his way back onto this team and I'll extend his contract. And now on second and 11, I hit hook up with Fred Davis. But a holding penalty is going to back us up. Third and 21 now for Freeman. And... Don't ask me why I decided to do the draw here. It must have made sense to me when I was playing. Oh well. Second and 13, he has the ball now. Rodgers back on the attack, and he sees me usering Tremont Williams, and he wants to test me. Well, I think I passed that test. User pick. And the return, Tremont Williams has room to run. He's going to break a tackle, going in and out of his blockers. Block on an offensive lineman, and just like that, 14-0, two picks already, dominating the opposition, 14-0. Third and ten, he's got the ball later, and he is going to get sacked by Jared Allen, and so I am off to a hot start in this game. I have the ball third and eight. Freeman looks to a quick pass, and that one's going to get knocked down, and so I get the ball back to him. Six minutes left in the second quarter, and to look on the out route and get a completion, Champ Bailey on coverage. It was caught by Greg Jennings. I force him into a third and ten situation. Rodgers is going to pass. He's got room to throw, and he's going to go long, and I messed up that time. He threw it to Larry Fitzgerald, and I got out of position, and I went to go bat it out of the air, and I failed. So I'm back on offense, a play action bootleg to Greg Olson. I keep it simple. I keep it sim, and I win games this way. And now I'm set up a screen pass Freeman, but you're not going to cover the tight end seam route. I'm going to take that all day. Greg Olson. And that's a big first down, and I'm going to go at it again if you're not going to do the coverage on him. And so a nice gain by Olsen again will get us to second and one. And now first and goal, Freeman give to Arian Foster. He gets through a couple defenders and into the end zone. Touchdown 21-7, favoring the best in the world ultimate team. And now out of the shotgun, a 12-step drop for Rodgers. He's going to look left, and I almost intercept that with Antrell Roll, so at least I... Got back to doing good user coverage. He's got the ball now, second and ten. He's got plenty of time to pass, and he'll hit his man underneath, and that'll be a first down past the 50-yard line. He's on my side of the field now, and a very smart play call here to hand off to Barry Sanders, get a first down. Now from the 33rd and 10, he's running out of the empty backfield shotgun. Rodgers, good protection, looks right and wide open. That one is going to be a big completion inside the five-yard line, so he's got it now second and goal. Looking to pass to Larry Fitzgerald into the end zone touchdown. So it's 21-14. to 
We're in the second half now, and he's on offense. I'm trying to do some good user coverage, but I'm way too shallow with Rocky McIntosh. And he's going to get a completion to Calvin Johnson, and he's going to take a shot now at my 39-yard line. Looking to do the same thing, but I do a lot better user coverage, and I'm going to get the sack with Barry Cofield. That's one of my lower-rated players on this team. He's got the ball third and 14 now. He's doing a pretty much air-raid offense, and, well, he's going to get sacked that time, Alodi Nata. He's, he played his Alodi at defensive tackle very smart 99 block shed but here's also a very smart move run the ball with Erie and Foster if it works don't go away from it Foster you ain't gonna catch me Darrell you didn't catch me the first time not the second time touchdown 28 14 big play by Arian he's got the ball now the two score deficit and Rodgers will pass once again and oh boy he's got two guys open deep and poor coverage by me and Calvin Johnson got behind Champ Bailey and quickly he is already inside my 15 yard line and then I try to go for the user with Pat Chung and that one's gonna be a touchdown and so I give up a big play and a touchdown after a big play on my own so we're back to a seven point lead Freeman looking to pass but didn't want to force it and I was sacked by a Lodi Nata so third and 13 now best out in motion I like doing that and running him in a slant and try to open somebody else up and now I'm scrambling with Freeman and I sling it to Colston it might have been a first down but his momentum might have brought him behind the marker but it doesn't matter because it's going to be holding so third and 20 Freeman's going to pass and you got to at least try Devin come on fourth and 20 I'm going to punt now with Chris Cluey out of my own end zone he's got an opportunity for a good return as he's got blocks established and Palomalu's blocking as well Desmond Bishop comes up and he is going to tackle him with the 37 yard line once again, empty backfield for Rodgers to pass. He's going to look over the middle, and Houston, we have a problem. I keep stealing the ball from this guy, and he just keeps giving it to me. Picked off by Chris Houston, and we have the ball at the 21-yard line. It's time for me to get some yardage and run some clock, and I want to hit the slant to Robert Meacham, but he can't catch it. So second and 10, we're going to go back to the running game. Foster handoff, and, well, I had two successful long touchdown runs, but other than that, not a whole lot of consistent success. Third and eighth, though, slant route, Plaxico Burris, and that's a first down, 16 yards. I'll come out now and try to run the ball again. Handoff, Arian Foster's got a little bit of room to run this time. A nice first down carry into enemy territory across the 45-yard line at the double century mark, 200 yards. Second and three now, I'm looking to do a fullback dive with John Kuhn, but Haloti, he kept breaking off of Alex Mack or whoever my center was, and I had no chance running up that hole. So third and one, I'm going to try to get a first down, hand it off to Willis McGahee. I substituted Donald Penn in at tight end, and McGahee put it on the ground. What are you doing, man? Second game in a row, this is going to happen. First, it was Devin Hester. And now Willis McGahee, touchdown Darrell Revis. It's a tie game. My lead has once again been blown. And for some reason, I felt confident giving the ball back to Willis. And he's going to get stuffed. Loss of one. Third and 11 coming up. It's not looking good at this point. But putting Olsen on the seam route. And once again, you leave him wide open. So I'm going to take it for my free yards. Thank you. First and 10 from the 37-yard line. Can I get some running success? Absolutely not. Haloti Nata is going to bury Foster for a one-yard loss. And now second and 11, looking for another slant. But once again, quick pressure, and Freeman is hit as he throws. It's incomplete. Third and 11, though, once again. And Palomalu, he doesn't wrap up. He goes for the big hit way too often. This game is realistic. And that means Greg Olson has the ball here for me at the 21-yard line after losing two yards, trying to pitch it out to Foster, and no success at all in the running game here late when we need it. So third and 12, I'm going to come out, look for the screen pass to Devin Hester. If not, we're going to kick the field goal. And so Freeman making a quick adjustment, and then he's going to drop back, look left, Devin Hester, good blocking, guys. Hester showing off the speed, first down and more, and touchdown worked perfectly. And so now I have to hold a seven point lead for 58 seconds. Here's the kickoff. He had no interest in that. And so he is going to come out now. Empty backfield shot from the 20 yard line. He's going to load up, go deep. Rodgers, and I got my guys in position. And trail roll, interception, user pick, no fumble. I'm going to kneel it, get my victory. First victory in my return to Ultimate Team. And I haven't posted a lot of victories on my channel as of late, so it's nice to have this one up. And it was against a 96 overall team, a game I really enjoyed, and it's games like this is why I love playing Madden. Once again, no interceptions thrown on my part. I made four happen. 
I completely stopped Barry Sanders. Five for nine. All he wanted to do was pass the ball. And when you're one-dimensional like that, usually I'm going to be able to capitalize on my opportunities. And I got the win, which is the most important thing, with my lower-rated team. And so, guys, hope you guys are enjoying this return to Ultimate Team. I'm having fun already. I've had, played two games. They've both been fun to play and I get a great experience when I play Madden I don't get when I play other games. So guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.